Hey, in this video we're going to have a uh, look at how we produce a magic eight ball using the uh, micro bit and you'll see in the top right hand corner of my screen I'll move that across a bit this is the uh, micro bit on the desk behind connected to the computer at the moment so any code we send there should show there's two parts to this video so the first one we're going to do here is create the basic magic eight ball which is that old-fashioned 1970s game where when you shake it it randomly choice it uh, creates a choice um, which it then prints out on its surface as a possible answer. So it's kind of supposed to be guiding you and helping you. The second video will add some different options onto this so that we can start to play around a bit more with the programming. Now, key thing to use here is that when we're coding this, we can either use the Python website, which is python.microbit.org, or we can use Moo. Now, I'm going to use Moo today, um, mostly because it works really well offline um, and it also tends to help you by suggesting what some of the commands are, so I'm less likely to make a typo in front of everybody. Okay, if you're using Moo, one of the things you need to make sure when you first get onto it is you need to set the mode, so when it comes up with the window, you need to click in the top left-hand corner where it says Mode, and then you need to select the mode as BBC Microbit. If I just show you that for just one second, what you should see here is on the mode option, which is BBC Microbit, press OK. Okay, and then you should have the option to play around with that there. Now, when we start with this one, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to in, need to import the modules. And because we're coming with the random choices options here, we're going to need to import two modules. The first module we're going to need to import is the microbit one because we need the microbit controls. And the second one is the random module because we want to be able to choose um, options at random from a list we're going to create in a second. So just to show you this very quickly, the first thing we're going to do is from microbit, and you can see it starts to complete it. So you can press tab to finish it. Okay, I'm going to use an asterisk as a wildcard so I want to import everything. And then we're also going to import random. Okay, I'm not putting all the comments in because the comments were only there for me to help guide you. Obviously, if you're doing a longer piece of coding, commenting is good because it allows you to go back to it and understand where you did it. But these two are fairly self-explanatory. Okay. Next thing we need to do is we need to create a list. Now this list is called answers and it has a list of possible outcomes. This was produced by year nine and it's far more imaginative than what I'm about to do. It doesn't matter how long the list is. Um, the key thing here is that you give it a name, you use the equals, you use square brackets to surround the whole uh, list. Because these are strings, you want to print them out. So you're gonna have speech marks, text, speech marks, and then you're gonna use commas to separate the different values that are coming out. And as long as you've done that, uh, you can make a list as long or as short as you want. So again, to keep this fairly simple, so you're not sat here watching me for ages doing this, I'm going to call this answers again. I'm going to use a square bracket. I'm going to put a short bit of text in. So that is a good idea. And you can just indent these to match. Okay, it doesn't have to on this one. As long as it's separated by commas, you should be able to just carry on that again. Um, do not do that. Okay. Oh, that sounds fun. And you can carry on this list. You'll notice I'm being careful at the moment not to use things like um, that. And the reason for that is if you do something like that, okay, move and the micro bit cope quite well with this, but that apostrophe on Python can end um, a, a piece of text in the same way that the speech marks can. So in theory, when you're putting an apostrophe in, what you should actually use is a backslash, which is normally an escape character. And the reason for doing that is to tell that, that this is an apostrophe and not an end of uh, speech section there. If you don't want to do that, just try to leave out the apostrophes for now. Okay, so we've imported the um, random module, we've imported the microbit controls, and we've created a really short list here, okay? What we now need to do is we need to be able to call that list because we haven't done that yet. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a really simple loop. I'm gonna create something called a while true loop. 
And, and that will just keep on happening unless we tell us it's false. So if, if we wanted to, we could at the end of this change it to false and that would end it, but we're not going to bother with that. And within this, we're going to start by showing the eight. You can see that's showing already on my micro bit there. We're going to get, use the accelerometer. So that's the uh, the tilt bit on it, on the, um, on the micro bit. So we're going to say if the gesture shakes, basically we shake the micro bit, then what should happen is it should clear the display it should wait about a second and then it should scroll a random choice from the answers across. So again, if we just have a quick look at that one, okay, we can do the same thing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say while true, watch out for the punctuation, make sure you're putting things like uh, the colons in here. And then we're going to start by just showing display.show. So that will show letter A to the start. You could have something else showing. I'm going to say if accelerometer again okay, you can do that okay now the key thing here to watch for is it's the accelerometer was gesture not is gesture so it's been shaken okay um, and now it's stopped but it's giving you the answer if you set it as is it will only work while it's doing it so accelerometer was gesture brackets shake okay so if the accelerometer was shaken, then what do we want it to do? Well, we want it to go to display.clear. We want it to wait. So we use the sleep command and put a thousand microseconds in. And then we want it to show something. So what we want to do here is to do display.scroll. So it's going to bring up um, uh, the text moving across the page. We want to do random choice. Okay, so again, if you look on this one, what you're getting is a random choice from the different answers that's coming up. So I'm going to go random choice and answers. Okay, the key point here is the answers is the variable here. If I want to rename that Bob and rename that Bob, that will work, although it wouldn't be a very well used name. If this is working, what we should now be able to do here is press flash. And what you should see is there's some lights came on at the back there. Is it flash? I'll just do that again, just so you can see. So the light back flashing away at the back there of the micro bit. And now if we shake this micro bit, if I come around behind and shake it, we should see it comes up with one of the options. So that's a good idea. It comes back to the eight, shake it again. We should get a different option, but we might not, of course, because uh, very nature of it being random or semi-random is that it could just as likely pull the same one up, particularly when we've only given it four choices to work from. Do it again. Oh, there we go. That's a different one this time. Okay, so it's very simple. And obviously you could then modify this to make something else with it. Okay. An easy option would be, can you change the list to make a number dice or die? And what numbers would you need to show? So you can make it, choose the numbers between one and six, one and 12. If you haven't got a die for a game that you're playing at the moment, this might be a great way around it. Okay.